Hi, this is Eric Sloof over at NTPro.nl and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use VLAN IDs. So first of all, let's start with a physical switch to kernel port uh, virtual machine port groups and two virtual machines. So in order to use uh, VLAN ID tags on a standard switch, you can configure a VLAN ID tag on the port group and in this example, this one is using VLAN ID 10 and this one is using VLAN ID 20. So both port groups are created on a switch and both virtual machines have one single network card and the network card is connected to the virtual machine port group and this virtual machine is in 10 20 something and this one is in 192.168 something so both virtual machines are in their own broadcast domain and they must communicate on a virtual switch and there's only one VM NIC available on this virtual switch so this is VM NIC 1 the cable goes through the physical switch and this is a trunk port on this physical switch um, there are other ports on this physical switch and eventually the traffic will be goes to the 10 network and to the 192 network so when a packet is sent from this virtual machine and it's traveling through the virtual network adapter and it arrives on the switch it will be tagged with VLAN ID 20 then it travels further over the VM NIC and it travels over the physical switch and eventually depending on the configuration of your switch it will be delivered in this network the other way around is also possible, when a packet is arriving from the 10 network, the switch sees that the MAC address of the virtual machine, the target virtual machine, is behind this port and the packet will be configured, tagged with a VLAN ID and the packet will arrive on the switch and eventually the switch will notice that this packet will be delivered at this virtual machine. So how does the traffic look? when you are looking on this line so the virtual machines are always receiving an ethernet packet without a vlan id so if you look at these uh, this traffic right here then you will see uh, all the vlan id bits first 64 32 16 8 4 2 1 and after that the ethernet packet So, uh, VLAN ID 10, for instance, is 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0 plus the data. And VLAN ID 20 will be 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0 and the data. So this VLAN ID is 12 bits and is 4,069 uh, possible IDs on the switch so the virtual machine will never see the tag the tag will be stripped off by the virtual switch and it will also be tagged by the virtual switch and depending on the configuration of your physical switch the traffic will be routed or will be switched to the right uh, network right here so this was my first whiteboard session I hope you like it Eric Sloof is signing off thank you